Hello everyone, in this lesson we're going to look at the steps to assign a static IP address on Windows 11. A static IP address is a network configuration that never changes, making it the preferred option to share files, a printer on the network, or to configure port forwarding. Usually, when a computer connects to a network, it'll receive a dynamic IP address assigned by the local DHCP server or the router. The only problem is that this configuration can change at any time as soon as your computer restarts or after the settings expire. And this could cause services like port forwarding and remote desktop to stop working. A static network configuration always maintains the same settings, making it the ideal option for hosting services for other users to connect through the network, making it ideal for hosting services that other users can access through the network. Okay, here is how to assign a static IP address on Windows 11. Using command prompt is the quickest way to configure a static IP address on Windows 11. And to do this, open start and look for command prompt or the Windows terminal. I like to use the Windows terminal, so that's what I'm going to be using. I'm going to right click the app and select the run as administrator option. And in here, first, we're going to use the IP config slash all to view the current IP configuration of Windows 11. And then we're going to note the IPv4 address, the subnet mask, the default gateway, which will be the router in your home network, and the DNS address. And we also want to note the name of the adapter, which in this case is Ethernet 0. Knowing that information, now we can type this command that assigns an static IP configuration to the network adapter. For the name of the adapter, we're going to be using Ethernet 0 because that's what applies to my network adapter. Static tells the command that we want to set a static IP address. The 10.1.2, the 222, does the IP address that I want to assign to this computer. And when specifying this IP address, you want to use an IP address that it won't be a conflict in the network. And what I mean by that is that you want to use an address that is not in the scope of the DACP server, because there is a chance that the router can assign the same IP to another computer. It's unlikely, but it could happen and that could cause conflict problems with the connection. So in this case, I'm going to be using the 222 because that's outside, that is outside of my particular scope. And then we're going to assign the subnet mask. In this case, it's 255, 255, 255, that's zero. And that's what's going to be in most cases, especially on home networks. And then at the end, we're going to specify the default gateway, which is usually the router in the network. In this case, it's 10.1.4.1. And now we just press enter to apply the setting. Now we're going to type this command to assign the DNS address for the IP configuration. Again, for name, we're going to use Ethernet 0 because that's the name of my network adapter. And then we're going to specify the IP address of the DNS server, which in this case is the IP of the router. And then just press enter to apply the configuration. Now, if you want to apply a second DNS address, which is common on most configurations, you need to type this command. And it's pretty much the same as the first command that we typed, but in this case, we're going to be assigning a different DNS address and we're going to use the index equal to option. And then just press enter to apply the settings. If you want to review the configuration, just type the IP config forward slash all command and press enter. And as you can see, the IPv4 address is now set to the one we specify. And the same for the subnet mask, default gateway. And as you can see, we have the DNS servers that we specify. And at the top, you're going to notice that DACP enable is set to no, which indicates that this is a static configuration. Now, you can also assign a static IP address using PowerShell commands. And to do that, open start and look for PowerShell or the Windows terminal. 
In this case, I'm just going to use a terminal. I'm going to right click and select the run as administrator option. And then I'm going to start a PowerShell session. First, we want to type this command to view the current TCP IP configuration on the computer. And then we want to check the interface index value, the IPv4 address, the default gateway, and DNS server addresses, because you're going to need that information to set up the command to assign the correct configuration to your computer. So knowing the current configuration, we can use this command to apply a static IP address on Windows 11 using PowerShell. For the interface index, we're using 13, which is the same number that we see right here. For the IP address, we want to choose an IP address that is outside of the scope of the DACP server in the network. The prefix length, we are using 24 because it is the bit number that assigns the 255, 255, 255, that zero address for the subnet mask. And for the default gateway, we're going to be using the address of the router, which in this case is 10.1.4.1. And then just press enter to apply the settings. And as you can see, we see a result with all the new configuration. After assigning the IP configuration, we need to assign the DNS server for the configuration. And we do that by using this command. The interface index, in this case, is 13 because we wanted to apply it to a particular network adapter, which index right now is 13. And then we need to specify the DNS address, which in this case is the one from the router, and then press enter to assign the new configuration. Now, in the case that you want to assign multiple DNS addresses, you need to use this command. And basically, you just add a comma and a space and the secondary address that you want to add for DNS, and then press enter to apply the settings. Now, if you want to review the settings, you can type the get net IP configuration command and then press enter and you can now see that we're using a static IP address and with all the configuration that we assigned. Now you can also use the settings app to assign a static IP address on Windows 11 and to do that open start and look for settings and open the app then go to network and internet then then go to network and internet then select ethernet and then under IP assignment, click the edit button, select the manual option, turn on the IPv4 setting, and in here we're just going to apply the static IP configuration that we want to use. Again, we want to assign an IP address that is not in the scope of the DHCP server, so we don't run into conflict later on. And as we can see, the IPv4 right now is 10.1.4.120. So we're going to assign the 10, the 1, the 4, the 222. We're going to assign a subnet mask of 225, 225, 225, that's 0. And this is going to be the address for most cases, more specifically for home networks. For gateway, we're going to specify the router IP address. And in this case, it's 10, that 1, that four, that one. For the prefer DNS server, I'm going. I'm going to use the IP address of the router, which in this case ten one that four that one. Although it's not a requirement, you can also apply it as secondary DNS server. And in this case, I'm just going to use the the Google public DNS address, which in this case is a that a that a that eight. And this enables the encryption method, which is optional as well. So if you want a more secure connection, you can also use encryption for DNS traffic, and you can select it right here. You can select encrypted, you can select encrypted only, or encrypted prefer, but also allowed in unencrypted traffic. For now, I'm just going to leave the default option and then click the save button. Once you save the settings, it might take a little while to apply it and to regain connection to the network. And on the page, we're going to see that now we're using a manual configuration with all the settings that we specify. 
Now, if you want to go back to a dynamic IP address, just turn off IPv4 in this case and select the automatic option and click save. Finally, you can also use control panel to assign a static IP address on Windows 11. And to do that, we're going to open start and look for control panel. And then we're going to open the app. Then we're going to go to network and internet. And then we're going to click the network and sharing center. Then we're going to click the change adapter settings on the left navigation side. And in here, you're going to see all the network adapters on the computer. And in this case, we're going to right click the ethernet adapter and we're going to select the properties option. Then we're going to select the TCP IP B4 option and then we're going to click the properties button. And here we're going to select the use a following IP address to set a static IP address. And as always, you want to use an IP address that is outside of the DACP scope to avoid conflicts in the future. And we're going to assign the 10, the 1, the 4, the 223. For the subnet mask, we're going to be using the 225, 255, 255, the 255, that's 0. For the default gateway, we're going to assign the IP address of the router, which in this case is 10, that one, that four, that one. Then for the use the following DNS server addresses, we're going to specify the 10, that one, that four, that one, which is also the IP address of the router. So you can just save the configuration right here, but if you want to add a secondary DNS DNS address, you can type it right here. And in this case, we're going to type again the Google public DNS address. In this case, it's a, the a, the a, the eight. If you need to add even more addresses, you can click the advanced button and then go to the DNS section and click the add button. And here we can specify another IP address for a different DNS server. And then just click the add button and that will be added to the list. You can also use this button right here to change the priority of the DNS addresses. And then just click OK to apply the setting and click close. And if you want to see the current settings, double click the adapter and then click the details button. And in here we can see that the ACP is disabled. So that means that we are using a static IP address and we can see the configuration that we specify. Now, if you want to go back to a dynamic IP address, just right click the adapter and go to properties, select the IPv4 option, click the properties button and select the obtain an IP address automatically and also check the obtain a DNS server automatically option. Click OK, click close, just wait a few moments. And as you can see here, it's trying to get a DHCP configuration and we can double click the adapter and click in the details button. Now we can see that the ACP is enabled and we have a automatic configuration. And that's it. Those were like four ways you can use to assign a static TCP IP configuration on Windows 11. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.